and regulation of the games. And the you have the sport. starters on your screen. This Manzo Custodio, Navo, Gamalinda, and Onteco. Very deeply experienced Pico five for Davao. Pico. Davao Pico. Occidental, that is Salo, Saret, Gabriel, Duligon, and Celada. A couple of familiar names there also, Prof. Randy. Oh, yes, for, uh, especially for the Alpha Omega Kings. We know Joshua Saret. He's once scored 89 points in a high school game for yes. playing for JRU. In the juniors and yes. uh, played one year of college and then decided uh, things were better off in the pro ranks. Nabong, one of the uh, throwback players in this league, is uh, what we used to call an enforcer. They try to take it into the low post. Well, that was a early expedition inside trying to test the the big men of uh, the AO Kings or Alpha Omega Kings. Long, long bomb for oh. three. Well, introducing himself you know, very early. Adrian, Adrian Celada, sporting number 10. Well, it's going to be a difficult matchup, Bill, because he extends the defense. He yes. may look like a power forward, but he's got a sweet uh, stroke from beyond. AO Kings up suddenly by three. The, uh, the Kings, for your reference, are in the dark uniforms. And the Tigers in the light-colored uniforms. Oh. Uh, Nabong experimenting from three-point range. Yeah, and, uh, that's a surprising. We we're not used to seeing him take that shot from the outside. So, tit for tat so far in this uh, ball game very early on. So, the Kings on their side of the floor. There's a delayed give-and-go. Pass was off the mark. Up, uh, throwing the ball over. Uh, this is the big time shot from Kelly Nabung Bill. It's a full foot and a half away from the three point arc. We are, for the most part, following FIBA rules. Five fouls, and you're out of the game. Despite the slight push. You know, that, that's going to be a tough matchup for Joseph Sare, uh, Joshua Sare. You know. yes. We know Bon Bon Custodio. He's, oh, yes. he's a good player, one and one If help doesn't come early on, he's not going to give up that ball and go to the hoop as we have seen in that last play. Hasang hasayan sa liga kahit saan. You're talking about Joshua Sare. He's put on a pound or two, but then again, haven't we all? <laughs> that's, uh, that's very true, Bill. But... What doesn't go away is the shooting and oh, scoring yeah. for Saret. And the smarts. Yes. That's a moving pick set by Nabong. Stuck his hip out a little too much. Mm -hmm. First foul for either squad. Resets the clock. We are deadlocked at 5. 7.54 to go. It's a very wry smile on his face. It's, it's a warning, <laughs> Randy. It's like, yeah. you ain't seen nothing yet. There, there you go. go. He was moving. Ooh. You know, that, that's a tough pick given by uh, Nabong. Saret. Oh, this pass was intercepted. Two on two fast break. Oh, classic. That's classic, classic, classic custodio. Woo. You know, he's got that style and that swagger moving to the hole. And then it's like a slow motion build when he, he, he moves up. Look at this play. Saret just unable to locate where the guy is going. And well, using his body to keep distance with the defender. So he gets a bonus charity. And he's looking how confident he's teammates are they don't even bother to line up <laughs> well uh, luckily it trickled in five points uh, early on for Bonbon bon Custodio played for UE our score is eight to five Kings getting it inside there is a foul that's gonna be on Custodio yes Reaching in, and you know, it's always the dream of a smaller player to block a big man. That's a good uh, pick and roll for them. And then it looks like a clean one, but the referee saw it otherwise. So Gabriel took to the free throw line. John Alviar Gabriel, sporting number six and for the AO Kings. Is it too early to call them AOK? -okay? Uh, it's easier to say the other one is DOT. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, and again, government agency, big yes, line. Yes. Eight yeah. to six is our count. Free throws, good. This team is a very patient one. You know, that's, it's, it's really a very deadly backcourt for Davao Occidental Bill. June Manso, you know, you, you know, he's a very heady guy, a guy who, who breeds basketball, yes. ducking in his first uh, three point shot. Pinasabi nga nila, simple lang ang basketball, pinahihirap natin. Gaya niyan. 
Gabriel adding to his total. 11 to 8. There's not much of a feeling out process in this game. No. His team is pretty much able to execute so far. Mm -hmm. Well, the defense has not been that tight store in there. So, yes. really looking at their strengths and Custodio again posting up Saret. Yes. That's going to cost Saret his second foul. Yes, and he's going to have to, he may have to be substituted. Let's see. Because there are some, some coaches who will let the player make the adjustment. There are some co uh, coaches who will pull, pull the out. player out. Because you only get five fouls mm -hmm. in this game. One one making the most out of the situation, connecting on that free throw. You know, that's going to be a difficult choice for the coaching staff of uh, AO Kings because Saret is known to be a scorer and then he's posting up. And now Saret has to move out. You know, and, uh, they're not willing to risk the third foul. And Batias coming in for the first time. That is a very familiar basketball name. Mm -hmm. Not just on the playing side, but on the referee side, side as well. Yes. Meron po tayong mga international referee na yan din po ang apelido. Coming up on the six-minute mark, it's the little men who are trying to post up inside. Turnover. Stodio leading the charge. Kulang ang depensa. That's going to be traveling. Traveling. It is a half-baked mm -hmm. Euro step. <laughs> Hilaw na Euro step yon. Tingnan mo. Inangat niya yung bola, pero... There you go. Huminto, eh. mm -hmm. And the press is on. That has been the trademark of uh, June Manso. Really pressing uh, the ball carrier from the backward. High screen. There's a switch. Somebody's free from three point range. Oh, Way off the mark. Oh, look at Manso. The Two. Kings have lost their shooting touch. Nabong playing cat and mouse with the defender. There's a foul. Ball rims out. You know, that's experience of June Manso. Yes. You know, he's not just going to direct plays for you. He's going to create the place for the team and for himself. Archie Salo, 5'11", 5'11", guard for the Alpha Omega Kings. Three fouls now on the Kings, two on the Tigers. Almost... Uh, or rather, halfway through our first period. <laughs> and again, um, no white guy on the rebounding play, therefore, after the free throw. This time, it was a missed free throw by... Uh, yes, the Jim only Manso. white guy here is the one sitting beside you. <laughs> I can see that clearly, Bill. Nasisilaw ka pa rin ba? Nice passing inside the paint by the big man. Another, another traveling call. Well, this is the first game for the two teams. So they're kind of filling out, really. Oh, what's yes. Gonna That's happen. also an underrated adjustment that a lot of teams have to make. He landed. Mm -hmm. See, he, he took off and he landed. So it wasn't a step. And the referees caught it. Good job. 14-8. Another play that we have to watch out here is Bam Bam Gamalinda. Yes, Bill. absolutely. Part of uh, the long, long string of championships of San Beda. And I... I think they're aware of what what she can do. Uh, it's not had touches so far, very few yes. uh, here in the first quarter. And that's 14 foul on the Alpha Omega Kings. One more, and they're in the penalty. What's happening to the Kings? They must be struggling simply because of the first substitution when Sarat went out. Yeah, because it, it really cracked out their uh, their rotation. They're looking for Saret for points, but I think that was a tough matchup given up. Yes. So, against Bonbon Custodio, who's a known scorer, and Custodio's been taking it to him, and here's a typical Nabong. Oh, medyo napakarami nung hakbang at nakita ng ating referee. Oh, what do Hang time move. Uh, Gabriel's getting a, a, a touch in almost every po offensive possession. He's of getting the his points in lieu of uh, Saret. Good handoff, just a tad short. Clean up job. Yeah, I think that's, that's a confidence when you have big guys like Kelly Nabong manning the middle. So you, you can take your shots and know that there's a chance for an offensive recovery for the Tigers. That was a memorandum pass to whom it may concern. Bahala na ako sino makatanggap. 16 to 10 is our count. Four and a half minutes left. That's the shot of uh, Gabriel. 
Nabong, that's what he does best. So the Kings with five team fouls now. We're going to start seeing free throws. Stojo fake the three. Shot clock beginning to wind down. Oh, there was a push off there. Custodio double clutched it. We have a fast break in the making. Now Bong's back home. Smart move, just pull it up. Yep. You don't want to get hurt. <laughs> well, that's really a decision, except that yes. they did compete with the basket. Everything but the basket. Great execution there. Tigers. Oh, we're going to spin by Doligon. But again, Bill, unable to finish. Alamo partner, before the game, you were telling me that, you know, medyo matigas yung ring dito sa Paco Arena kasi medyo bago pa to and you still have to make the adjustment. You know, there's a steel rod that holds the ring in place and there's a spring attached to it and you can make it more flexible. It's really, really tight. Both teams on some unproductive sequences that we've seen here, Bill. Nangangapa pa talaga eh. Oh, that's a good foul there. Yeah, but there is the penalty. Yes. Uh, that's going to be two free throws. Good foul simply because they didn't have enough bodies on defense. Spade of substitutions now. De Leon coming in for Nabong, who will get a well deserved rest. 3 and 24 to go. First period action. So there's Bon Leon and there's De Leon for, yes. for the Dabo Occidental uh, Tigers. Pero yung Bon Leon, it's just one word. Mm -hmm. We just have to check if uh, Ron De Leon is the one who played for UST at one time. So you you have a guys of a big uh, lineup for Dabo Occidental, and we see Kurt Lujera. If I'm not mistaken, he played for De La Salle uh, okay. for his collegiate uh, basketball. That's in the early 2000s. Yes. Um, and, and, and Lujera is a, it's a big one. Tall guard. Costello comes in. For the Tigers. Uh -huh. Let's see how the second units fare. <laughs> we know all about the starters. 18-10 is our score. The pace has slowed down somewhat. Oh, nice give and go. Oh. But it came and went. Nobody was home for a bit. Turn around. Oh. Catches enough rim to fall in. Soft touch. De Leon making an impact right away the lead is ballooned down to 10 bill but you know we've been seeing this mm -hmm. in the two previous games one team will get a double digit spread the other team catches up and it becomes a thriller oh that's a big answer three point shot taken suddenly the lead is down to a single digit better ball movement on the part of the tigers selling a lot of high screens there was a bump, it wasn't called. Fast break in the making. Let's see what happens. Good challenge there. Mm -hmm. Now it's wiser to wait for the rest of the cast. Yep. A good decision. They don't have the numbers. There's no. Uh... Oh, another three point shot. Celada off one foot. The Dirk Nowitzki special. Yep, in the wing of an eye, the 10 point advantage is now down to four. That's the nice thing about having experienced players. They don't panic. Oh. Running one-hander goes in for Olayon. Now, more players getting in on the scoring. 22-16. Under two minutes to go in the action-packed oh. first quarter. Boy. <laughs> it's really heating up. And they're getting a good feel of the ball game so far. The second unit for, for both camps. Better passing on this side of the floor. That was a forced shot. Unusual for Davao in this first quarter. Celada, long three. Yes, oh, he finds the bottom of the net. And don't look now. The lead is down to one. You know, he's just so confident, uh, Andre and Celada. But the Tigers not bothering yes. to call a timeout, partner. Yep, they're letting them play. Very confident about uh, how they're going to make the adjustment for the second unit. Well, and, they're, and they're riding it out mm. because it's just a minute to go. This one's off the mark. And nobody there for the rebound. Those are the things you consider when taking a shot. It's 
been all Celada so far, and that caused a turnover. Ito, dapat mamasa na. Long three on the way. Nobody there for the rebound again. Chance to take the lead. No, they don't. Final half minute. Three oh, on two situation. Easy. For easy. Yep. Finally, a basket for the. But credit the pass from Olion. Yep, they read the, way, the play well. Lujera was uh, filling the lane for them. This tiger is Olion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got me there, Bill. <laughs> sure. Just like, just like old times. <laughs> Three on one pass break. Trying to beat the clock. Oh. Almost, but not quite so. A dramatic first quarter finds the Tigers leading the Kings 24 21. We'll be back with the second period. This is the PSL. Nohera at De Leon. Para naman sa koponan ng Alpha Omega Kings, bagong koponan naman ito sa PSL. Pero matagal na raw magkakasama ang ilan sa mga players nila tulad nila Doligon, Gabriel, Celada at Sarit. Kaya naman kung Team Chemistry Tapan, Bill and Randy, hindi na raw ito problema sa Alpha Omega Kings. Tignan natin kung ano pa ang may papakita ng mga star players sa ito ngayon na raw. Thank you very much, uh, Andrea Veloso, our hardworking and talented courtside reporter. And she's been all over the place tonight. Well, uh, from the crowd, to the players, um, to the whatever's going on. Here, the first quarter, Bill, four of six from three-point area for the Alpha Omega Kings. And that was their uh, advantage. They were able to claw back from yes. the early 10-point advantage uh, put up by uh, quick starting double Occidental Tigers, of course, led in that quarter by Bon Bon Custodio. And it's showing a lot of heart. Chance to uh, cut this three-point lead down even further. Shot is blocked. Now Dava Occidental trying to run it up. Dava Occidental Tigers Coco Life, the complete name of the team. Open tray on the way, in and out. Long rebound being contested. Bon Leon doing his part to chip in. Uh, there is a foul. You know, that hesitation move by Lohera is too much to be handled by a smaller guy. Each team with one quick foul in the first minute of the second quarter. Bill Velasco with Randy Sakdalan bringing you the game live from Paco Arena. Oh! Oh boy! That, that was a, that's a classic. Uh, Nakao. Old school. Nila. Oh, oh. Yung old school. Yung nakatalikod yung uh, uh, nagbabantay sa inbounder. Oh. Ang binabantayan yung receiver. Mm hmm. Daming klasing ganyan. That's a push off. Should have been yes. an offensive foul. Oh. You ask me. Yeah, but the benefit of the doubt given in favor of. Uh, Minsan the kids. kasi kasabayan ng pag dribble. Mm -hmm. eh. mm -hmm. eh, yung balikat. Eh, ang foo ka pinakatalikut si Bolleon sa kanya. But I think it was Bolleon who was called for the foul. Normally, if, if both players are in proper position, it's who initiates the contact. Mm -hmm. But in this case, obviously. Uh, it's number seven from uh, Alpha Omega Kings, that Batak. Warlaw James Batak. Wow, he, came, he comes from Bulacan State University. Yes. That's an uh, academic field. Uh, it's got a very reputable brand for Bulacan State University, one of those uh, highly touted academically uh, of the SUCs in the country. Well, you should know, Prof. <laughs> Good passing corner. Jumper, hard working yep. offensive rebound yep. by De Leon. Well, Kings would have to be worried about how where De Leon is. You know, if you don't back him out properly, scrap, you know, I, I, I covered this fellow from uh, from college. He's, he's not been getting the ball, uh -huh. he's been getting his own mix. Well, that's usually the, the thing for the big fellow. If you don't get involved in the offense, you have to really wait for your chance to get that offensive recovery, and that's what De Leon. It's been doing for the DOT, or rather the double Occidental Tigers. Give them the confidence to take the shot from the outside, and I'll take care of the rebound. The lead is restored to four. Each team with two fouls now. Open is Celada off the backboard and away. 
Almost a travel there. Oh. Oh, Teco coming up with a three-point shot. Oh, Teco with his first points of the game. Early substitution uh, coming for the Kings. Oh, looking disorganized. Yes. Basa and basa and basa. Oh. Ojera just on a leak out play, extending the lead to nine, Bill. Five, five straight points. We have a timeout, 33-24. Can the Kings cut this lead down when we come back? See you on the other side. The games of the President's Cup 2024 continue on IBC 13. Well, another time it has to be called by the AO Kings because of that five-point burst yes. happening in the last minute of this quarter. Oh! Wow! That suddenly makes it a good timeout. Yes. Of the timeout, they got a three-point shot. High pick. And the three-point shot is erased. Yep. Siegel did that uh, first three-point shot for the Kings, and o then Olayon replied with a three-point shot of his own. Ayon, medyo malayo na masyado, partner. Well, they've been tinkering on that three-point shot since it's falling for both teams. The Tigers, only two for the Kings. Six minutes, 55 seconds to go. Second quarter. A lot going on, a lot of the little minutiae of the game na malilit na bagay na napapansin natin. But only one uh, shot for the Kings. Oh, ho, ho. making the most out of it for Olayon again. He's got seven points already. Quietly, you know, he's like an assassin for Tama. the uh, for the Tigers. And, oh. At, ayun ang problema, tinitignan kasi yung papasahan, mm -hmm. kaya... You don't want to burn a second timeout this early. Again, another turnover bill. Natatapik yung pasay. Oh, Lion with his confidence now. Nice no look oh, pass. De Leon pass. dumps it inside. Oh, they're enjoying their game here for yeah. the Kings. Or and, rather, Tigers. Bill. And the Kings are going to have more problems as Bam Bam Gamalinda is set to check back into the game. Nice shovel pass inside. Second chance is good. A luck break there for, for the Kings. Batak making that basket. Lohera into the post. Simple pivot move, gets a push from behind. Oh, it's good pass there. The extra pass to Olayon from uh, De Leon. Again, they're able to get to that uh, to the defense, to the heart of the defense of the Kings. And more trouble, Bill. We see Custodio, we have Gamalinda coming back for, for the Tigers. They can't bring in Saret because Saret is two personal fouls. Pahinga muna si De Leon. Mm -hmm. Para sa Tigers. Oh, off the ball foul on Olayon. Offensive foul. 41 29. 5 and 20 to go. Or rather, it was on Octengo <laughs> using, using his arm. That's a clothesline. Mm -hmm. Madalas yan nakikita po sa wrestling. The refs are going to review the call in case they need to make the penalty a little stiffer. Kasi pwedeng hatulan yun ng unsportsman like, no? If you are not going for the ball. There you go. Pero hindi naman tinaas yung braso, eh. Nakababa siya. Yung braso niya was straight out. But certainly, it, it prevented and it caused the player to slip by. It's now called a, an unsportsmanlike foul. So, what does that mean in our language, partner? 
uh, two free throws uh, for Cinco. You know, Cinco played for NU and for LPU. Uh, it's actually two free throws, throws for, for a designated shooter. And uh, plus ball possession. Ball possession. Yes. So it was costly on the part of the oh, Tigers. Mabigat yun. Could be a four-point mm -hmm. swing. Kasi nasa kanila na lahat yung, ano, yung, yung momentum. They've really taken control of the second period. And then here it comes. So it could be a game-changer in favor of the Kings. And you know, uh, you cannot live and die with the outside shot, mm -hmm. which is what the the Kings have been doing. That's what kept them in the game. Pero hindi mo pwedeng palaging asahan yun. Mm -hmm. The very few plays really going to the low post. Well, this one looked like a low post play. Good cut under the basket. Oh! It bounces in plus a foul. You know, uh, Archie Salo was the recipient of that pass. It's quite ironical, Bill. You matag up ng pass sa ilalim or the smaller guys. Exactly. Well, maybe because the big men normally draw a lot of attention. Mm -hmm. But the movement, you know, we have to appreciate the movement of the smaller fellows anticipating that uh, that handoff. Nabong comes back in for the Tigers. So, Custodio talking to the coaching staff. Maybe he's the boss of Liam Neeson because he's so scared. 41 to 34. I have a particular set of skills. <laughs> Who am I talking to? Stepping closer. A lot of cutting by the baseline for the Kings. Shot clock still a plenty. Goes the other way. There's going to be a nudge from from Nabong. Up and uh, he's really being challenged by Gabriel in that play. The forearm in the back. Bumped him from behind. At ito po, dalawang uh, free throw. Gabriel is long at 6'6", played for UP, uh, PUP and Letran in the collegiate ranks. Sa kolehiyo kasi, pag ibang liga yung uh, pinasukan mo, hindi ganun kahaba yung residency. Hindi <laughs> ba? Pero pag uh, kalaban nung pinanggalingan mo eskwelahan, dalawang taon nang hihintayin oh. mo. Kaya ang hirap, ang hirap maglipatan eh. Tama. Uh, lalo na kung sa same league kayo. Yes. May ano, incubation period ka pa. 41 to 36, just a five-point lead now for the Tigers. Oh. Oh, he got clipped on the foot. Mm-hmm. May have stuck uh, stuck his foot out. Let's see. Tingnan natin kung nilabas yung paa niya. Here's a play, Bill. There's a screen Let's by Let's watch this. <laughs> Actually, it's a Bum veteran move by medyo Manso. Medyo bumuka ka nung oh. bandang huli. Kaya yun yung sumabit kay Manso eh. Yung oh. sabi ni Salo na... You know, the, the contact was initiated by that foot stuck out by uh, Manso in the play. Pero ang masakit nun, eh, tatlong free throw ang mm -hmm. ibibigay. Dahil three-point uh, shot ang tira ni Manso. Oh, just as, ano, basketball smarts lang yun on the Tama. part of June Manso. Utakan yan. Mm. And was able to sell the, the deal to the referee. But that's something also that the players would have to manage, yes. especially if you're up oh. against some of those. And we're not saying that there's some named players who will be given the benefit of the doubt. Tama. But Tsaka, ano, yung sinasabi natin ng first quarter partner, yan ang isang kailangan din uh, bagayan ng mga player, yung tawag ng referee. Mm -hmm. Certainly. Good handles on the ball. Oh, there's somebody, a push. Oh, somebody was taken out of the camera. Ang, ang hirap talaga maging malaki kasi... Ikaw yung palaging tinutulak. Mm -hmm. Sabi nga ni Wilt Chamberlain, nobody loves Goliath. <laughs> Here is that spin move by Doligon. Somebody's gonna be pushed off. There you go. And uh, just for a good measure, the waving of the arms and uh, penalty situation for both teams. So Gabriel, he has taken more minutes uh, yes. in this ball game since uh, replacing... 
Celada. And with 4.08 to go, Saret is about to mm -hmm. come back into the game. Pero ang tanong dyan, partner, lumamig na kaya? Mm -hmm. Dahil ang haba niyang naupo. And you know, he's got two fouls. So yes. Better be careful. This will be up against another matchup. Ang tanong dyan is kung masisira yung laro niya dahil mag-iingat na masyado. Mm -hmm. Nabong bringing up the ball. Setting a huge screen. Rattles out. Mm -hmm. Problema dyan, dahil siya nag-screen, hindi siya makaka-rebound. Mm -hmm. Kings trying to get some buckets in a hurry. Time starting winding, starting to wind down. Almost a turnover. Shot clock down to nine, seven, five, three. They fire it. You really wanted that shot. Well, right that's there. Si yung play. Oh, yeah. oh, look at the Ligon in the Nabong play uh, for position. Nagkakabangga na po. Uh -huh. Holding foul. Oh, double foul. Oh, it's a double foul. Two players hooking each other. That's going to be Salo and uh, Manso who will be credited with a foul each. And that's unnecessary. Mm. So the two fouls will cancel each other out. Pero paano yun, partner? Possession arrow ba? Oh, pagkagal ng possession arrow ang gagamitin nila doon. And it favors the Kings. Sabi ng ating referee, masyado kayong close. <laughs> oh, they, were, they were running side by side. Yes. And uh, in front of the referees. And arm in arm. Mm -hmm. And not in the romantic style. Definitely not, Bill. Still 44-37. Resets the clock for the Kings. The Alpha Omega Kings making their debut. As do the uh, Davao Occidental... Tigers Coco Life. Oh, uh, rather ungamely. Almost a traveling. Okay, you know, sabi natin eh, yung bangga mo kinabong. Yes. That's gonna throw you off. He was anticipating a call. Titilapon ka talaga. And now we have an uh, update uh, from Andrea Veloso. Andrea? Bam, bam, Gamalinda! Gamalinda, Gamalinda scoring. 46-37, the lead is now 9. Kailangan mag-ingat dito yung Kings na hindi uh, kumawala na naman ng Tigers. No, yeah, 228 remaining in the second period. Both teams in the penalty. Oh, a timeout to be called, Bill. The Kings call a ceasefire, 46-37, 2.20 to go before halftime. We'll be back. Season. Dahil kahit marami na raw na dagdag na pro players dito sa koponan niya, pagsubok pa rin ito dahil nga iba-iba ang sistema ang nakagisna ng mga pro players na ito. Kaya naman para kay Bonbon bon Custodio na dati ng player ng Davao, their goal for this game is to just really work on their team chemistry and gelling. Handa rin siya ituro sa kanyang mga bagong teammates ang kultura ng Davao team. And that is of course their winning attitude in every game. Maiaangat kaya ulit ng mga veteranong players na ito ang Davao ngayong season. Bill and Randy. Maraming salamat, Andrea. Parang ayaw tayo kausapin ni Andrea, no? Marami ka nang itatanong kasi. Hindi naman, no? Kelly Nabong. That's the second three-point uh, yes. shot, Bill. 49-37. So, it was a good timeout for Davao. Mm -hmm. They've stretched their lead under two minutes to go. Paul in the act of shooting. So, we'll have a bonus uh, free throw. Well, Dolly God has been trying his best to put some numbers para sa... Kings. Well, that was just an open D. Taken advantage by Toliguan. Hindi siya low south. He was oh. bringing the ball. Uh, kumalas yung uh, big man nila sa gitna. Oh, he knew he's gonna miss it, he Bill. He knew. He knew. And the Kings are surprised uh, they got possession. Saret back on the floor, by the way. Here we go again. Uh, not this time for Doligon. Parang iniba lang yung angulo ng atake, ano? Uh, Nabong was there to make things a little bit blurry for Doligon. Lead is still 10 for 
the Dava Occidental Tigers Coho Life. Shot clock starting to wind down. No play developing so far. Corner jumper Whoa. is good. So this is probably the most potent five for Davao Occidental True. Tigers. You know, with Lujera completing the uh, starting lineup of uh, Davao Occidental Tigers. And you normally don't end the period mm. with your starting lineup. And they want to finish strong here. Want to protect that lead as well. They'll have the, the entire half time to rest. Oh. Shot clock down to four seconds. No basket. Oh. Nagkamali ng tapik. Oh. No look pass. Oh, that's gonna be a foot uh, trap. Kaso no look din yung pagtanggap. <laughs> well, Gabriel has really played the entire second quarter. Uh, this is probably also their strongest uh, front line with uh, Celada and Gabriel. But, you know, the lead has been up to 12. No solution so far. But, you know, to their credit, neither team has really been fouling mm. a lot despite being in the penalty in the last couple of minutes. Oh, that. Oh. And... That's going to be number three on Sarit, the partner. The broadcaster's curse, partner. Pag may binanggit ka, nangyayari, ano? <laughs> Oo. Oh, uh, Wag na natin pag-usapan yung overtime. Mm -hmm. No, no baka, not yet. Baka ipauso na naman natin. Oh, no, that, that, that's the risk of bringing back Sarit in the second period. Nagpalit nga siya ng bantay. At wala si pa siyang naiaambag hmm. tong uh, quarter na to. And of course, our... our uh, Commissioner Alan K. Dick in the middle and our operations uh, head Steph Farley in the on the left of your screen. 53-39 na po ang ating score. Oh, Sarit will continue to oh, play. No, only 34 seconds. They hope he doesn't get another foul. Again, partner, you know, the attention was brought to the big men yes. because the small guy scores for the Kings. Ayon, ang gagawin dapat ng Davao Occidental ay ubusin ng oras para di na makakuha ng bola ang uh, Alpha Omega Kings. Good close out there. Celada has been quiet the mm -hmm. past few minutes. So at the end of two fast-paced quarters, our score is the Dava Occidental Tigers, Omega Kings 41. We'll be back with all our halftime studying. And the uh, top scorers, Bill Manso, leading Dava Occidental, Celada, nine points to very limited minutes in the first half. And if you look at the uh, Custodio, all of that was in the first quarter. Because yes. it's already in the second quarter, right? Yep, when there was adjustment, uh, Sarit uh, was moved to guarding Manso. And then, uh, Nabong, two three-point shots. Gabriel, on the other hand, you talked about him bringing up the points when uh, Celada sat, sat down for the, the, the Kings. But quite deep, no? Isa lang ang naiwan, pero oh. yung in-depth ng lineup, Bill, very impressive Tama. for the Occidental Tigers of Davao. And, you know, as, as uh, pointed out uh, in our halftime interviews, championship caliber itong... Uh, ano, Itong uh, Dava Occidental at ang uh, ating, presidente. ating uh, presidente, Chris. Sir Chris is in the, uh, at the court side. Together with uh, Cobb Alan. I have to get used to calling Alan Commissioner. <laughs> 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 Bakit ano tawag sa kanya dati, Hoy? <laughs> <laughs> Hindi naman. Hindi the, naman. The, the trigger man. Kasi alam natin, we call him the trigger man uh, for, for more than a decade. Yes, the, the greatest shooter personally. <laughs> I have ever seen. Medyo si De Leon nag-experimento ng three-point shot. 53-41 is our score once again. Third quarter underway. You are watching the games of the PSL President's Cup 2024. Bill Velasco here with Randy Sakdalan coming to you from the Paco Arena. That is traveling. He lifted his pivot foot before the ball hit the floor. Malinis na tawag po yan. It's quite interesting, Bill, looking at the starting lineup of... Here is the... Traveling, committed by Celada. Pero yung lima ng uh, Davao Tigers, ito yung second unit niya that oh. really gave them the push in the second quarter. Pero napansin mo, partner, sa larong ito, maraming player din na sala sa init, sala sa lamig, mm -hmm. no? Bumubugan apoy tapos biglang mawawala. Uh, Celada started the game very yep. strong. And then, missing out. Kasi matagal rin na upo si Celada. Tama. I think he, he, he cooled off. 
in that period. Oh. The Kings trying to get more points in the paint. They uh, did almost keep in step with the Tigers. So Gabriel sees that uh, opening. Ang hirap pag binigyan ka ng distansya oh. ng bantay mo. Parang oh. ititira ko ba o hindi? <laughs> no? The uh, Steph Curry syndrome. Long oh, bomb. Big. That one will go. Oh. That's really trouble, partner. No? On the guard matchup, lunod na lunod yung, ano, eh. yung Kings in the way the guards have been opening things yes. for, oh. for the Occidental Tigers. Si Manso, Metres, and then Nabok also. And now you have Costello. Well, simply up. put, the Davao guards are a threat. Mm -hmm. Pag dinikitan mo, sasaksakan ka. Oh. Pag hindi mo dinikitan, titirahan ka sa labas. You're really in a dilemma. <gasps> well, Leon will be charged, or rather, De Leon will be charged with another personal foul. His second. And Bata. Completes it. The lead is down to 12. Down, parang laki kasi. Eh. Parang, parang ramdam natin na may comeback na mm -hmm. nakaumang na itong uh, Alpha Omega Kings. Open three. In and out. De Leon overshooting yep. the mark. Malakas yung pulso. Mm -hmm. oh. Ayun, naiwan ang bukas. Kaso hindi pumasok ang layup. Good offensive board there. Oh, he's gonna be keep more it there. Oh, there should be a foul there somewhere. Someone was kneeling on someone's head. Yep, uh, the foot of Costello hitting the face of a king in that play. Di maiwasan pero foul pa rin. Mm -hmm. Ito makikita natin talagang and possession arrow points to the to the favor of uh, the Tigers. Tingnan natin dahil yung mga referee. Nasa iba-ibang pwesto pa sa court. Mm -hmm. Hindi pa nagkakasundo. 7 and 51 to go. Third quarter action. The PSL plays games five days a week. Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Through our various broadcast and streaming partners. Oh, great pass, partner. You know, that, that ability of Lujera as a big point guard. Yes. Locating somebody underneath. The lead is a very healthy 14 at this stage. At ngayon, medyo nangangapasa puntos ang AO Kings. Oh. And the Uter Pipe open lineup for Celada that this team up with Gabriel. Went somewhere without the basketball, sidestep. Mm -hmm. It will stay with the Kings. 18 seconds on the shot clock. Balion is coming in, replacing Matias. Jonathan Balion coming in early here in the third quarter. Nice stutter step, spin move. An offensive recovery. Buti na lang may tagaligpit. Mm -hmm. But almost a made shot. There by uh, Aliano. And uh, Balion took to the free throw line. Parang hindi mapakali yung mga coach, ano? Na iba yung timpla ng mga team ngayong second half. Yep, uh, iba yung, yung formula nila. Uh, easily for the, for the Kings, they look at the better players uh, who played in the first half in this uh, third period. Coach Dan Kanyeba of uh, the Alpha Omega Kings. And head coach Manuel Inigo II for the Dava Occidental Tigers Coco Life. Given goal was not fulfilled. Olayon. Wow. Ano buhay uli ano? What's a and it was a, it was a, a well-run play, no? Tama. Open shot for the for the flare corner three-point shot. Hindi pilit eh. Celada didn't have anything for himself. Decided to give it up and wise move. Yep. 
Mark Mark scoring over Lojera. Okay, now the Kings have shown there's no problem on the offensive end. Yung defense ang problema ngayon. Olayon. Trying to get two in a row. Yes, yes. he does. Well, he's got the stroke, uh, Bill. Kita mo naman yung, yung kasa niya. Uh, and it's so nice to look at left-handed players. Tama. Similar kay Commissioner. Yes. They've really been working on that pose of play in, inside. Na, Capitalizing na, on the small Nakakapani bago, partner. Kasi yung mga maliliit na player ang nambabraso sa mm -hmm. loob. Yung malalaki ang tumitira sa labas. Well, Costello knew he's not going to make that shot. Here's a run. Ito na. Before the defense can set, they get a foul. Mm -hmm. That will be the third already for the Tigers. The Kings are still clean. And <laughs> Kelly Nabo has to come in and play fireman. June Manso. Gamalinda. What a stroke of uh, <laughs> ingenuity for Parang sarap bumunot ng player. Oh, kasi yung paparit sa'yo. If not as strong, a little stronger. Yes. You know, off the bench here in the second half, Gamalinda and Manso and uh, Nabong. 64-51. The outlet pass, almost knocked away. Celada has not been able to create for oh, himself. Good, but good recognition there, Unselfish Parker. play. Yep. You know, Celada is really looking around. He's not forcing his way through. Nangalahati na ang ating uh, third quarter. Manzo using a screen by Nabong. There's no switch. You know, we haven't really heard much from Postodio nope. since, since the first, first quarter. quarter. And, well, he's coming in now. Exactly. Makabalu coming in first time for the Kings. You know, when, you, it, when no? you think about it, these are very deep benches that we have. And the quality of the guys coming off the bench yes. for, for Dabo Occidental. Oh, That's traveling. traveling. He yep. changed his footing. Nasayangan si Custodio dun kasi assist na sana yun. The concentration lost there by uh, Kelly Nabong. Medyo nang gigil ng konti. Celada. Still being denied. Desperation passes and results in a brewing fast break. Oh. <laughs> Looking for a foul for June Manso. June Kent Manso felt somebody's physical pressure from behind. Celada's drawing a blank mm -hmm. here. Leon Medio Bumilis ng Bumalik sa Depensa. Ang Kings. I had a good idea there to give it to a guarded Gamalinda. <laughs> oh, but look at the presence of Manu. Not, not a pick, eh. mm -hmm. Unless the referee blows the whistle, there's no foul, there's no traveling, nothing. 66 55. And again, oh, the small guy doing the dirty work underneath. Yes. Pero guy ng binanggit nila nung halftime, depends ang kailangan pag igihan ng uh, Kings ngayon. There's going to be a push. Well, that's going to be a really a tough matchup against ba Ulayon. He's shifty. He, he, he looks up. Uh, ano pa rin ng, ano, eh, ng, ng, ng magkiklik na five itong uh, Kings, both on the defensive and offensive end. So, hindi sila makakuha ng sunod-sunod na stops to, to score uh, here and, and bring down this double-digit advantage. Bad pass. Hindi po kami kasali. One of the few turnovers committed by uh, the Tigers. Mind committing only five in the first quarter for a team that has been yes. assembled, made up of one holdover, and the rest are newcomers. That's also a testament to coaching mm -hmm. when you think about it. Yes. Open three from the corner, off the rim and out. Whoa, he's just playing really smart. Woo! Manzo is having a field day today. 69-55. Yep. Approaching the three-minute mark. Dito po sa ating third quarter. Oh, Doligon just... Uh... Si Doligon yung classic na 
nananagasa mm. na lang ano pero hindi naman napipituhan ng offensive foul it's a three point shot by Junjun Manso well he's just taking things you know taking control of the offense of uh, Tigers Sumampong coming into the game for the AO Kings but you want it down frustrating third quarter for him got to like the way Doligon is approaching this game, not yes. giving up, not getting intimidated at all. Pero problema ngayon ng AO Kings, kailangan pang pababain ng konti itong lamang ng mm. Tigers para madali nang habulin sa fourth quarter. Kaso matibay din itong uh, Dava Occidental. Doligon kicking it out. Momentum, mm. air ball, nabong, clearing, quick outlet. Fast break in the making. Let's see. One against five. Sure. No. no. And wisely, they, they move that ball back. Inasinta. Niluwa. Oh. Good, uh, good stroke, really, for a lion. And you have to take those shots. You're open. Coming up on the last two minutes of the third quarter. Parang bumibilis ang oras pag ikaw yung naghahabol. Doligon trying to get a momentum inside. Too crowded. Shot clock down to four seconds. Just Turnover. Lawsuit. Another fast break happening. Two on none. 71-56. The Alpha Omega Kings need this timeout. We shall return. A lot of heroes in this game, and you're looking at one of them. Manzo delivering big time for the Dava Occidental Tigers Coco Live. The Alpha Omega Kings have less than two minutes to trim more of this lead down to a manageable bite size, maybe seven, eight points, partner. Yep. In the penalty are the Tigers. So that's an opportunity really for Tama. the Kings to push that ball inside. Tama. But indeed, they've been taking shots from the outside, not really taking advantage, except for the Ligon. They need to recognize the opportunity. Mm -hmm. That's only their second team foul for the for the Kings. And si Custodio, I think, na naiinip na rin eh. Uh, si Celada binalik, mm -hmm. pahiyang lang, no? Pinaupusan dali, oh. pampalis malas. Um, they couldn't buy that basket here in the third quarter yes. to see Celada. They, they recognize what kind of a player he can, he can really be on the floor. They sprayed out and left nobody under the offensive glass. Celada giving it up. They'll try to make himself open. Oh, that's a nudge by Custodio from behind. Huling huli, no? Oh. <laughs> Who knows? This may be what he needs to get his offense going yep. again. Oh, yung, yung, yung free throws. We've, we've seen that time and again, Bill. It's a counting confiance lang. Oh. One more thing we haven't discussed, partners, that some players play well on television, some don't. Hmm? Iba kasi kinakabahan. Oh. Uh, even when they're excited, and then they put up with uh, really the best shows. Well, Salada missed on his first free throw. So, confidence... Medyo nayanig ng konti ang uh, kumpiyansa mm -hmm. ni Adrian Celada. One minute and 14 seconds to go. As Randy pointed out, the Kings have not been able to really exploit the penalty situation. <laughs> Kasi yung Tigers, mga apat na minuto mm -hmm. ng penalty. Pero konti pa lang napipigang free throw ng Kings. <laughs> Look at Custodio just gingerly taking that shot. Oh, keeping the ball alive, si Bam Bam. Oh, but Lohera loses it, partner. There is a good chance for Celada. Yon, baka bumalik na, baka masumilab na yung uh, opensa. And here. Oops. Is it a turnover? It's a turnover, partner. 
And this is what you, you pointed out. You know, bring it down to a more manageable yes. closing out the third period. Gaya nito, labing isa. Pag nakashoot ang Kings dito, siyam na lang. Yes, o baka walo. All, all they want is to be within striking distance. A couple of stops away. Oh, they let it take a three-point shot. <laughs> Pero na bawi naman ng AO Kings. Celada going in strong. Reverse is short. Na ilang siya kay Nabong. Davao had the fast break. Somebody holding somebody down. Can we foul on Doligon? Let's see if the basket counts. No basket. No basket. They said that the foul was uh, committed prior to the shot. No continuation. Hindi direct ang naishoot yung bola. Hindi hindi single motion oh. from the arm lock that was given by Tony Kwan. Arm one lock. Point. Wrestling na yung partner. <laughs> I, I Pero panigurado lang, no? Oh. Para hindi ma-shoot. Final seconds of the third quarter. Hinayaan yeah. lang. Binan na ba? You know, Bond was really wanting that shot. And all their hard work has gone to waste because the lead is back up to 14. Frustrating times for the Kings. Here's Doligon oh. running into a wall named Nabong, and Nabong is whistled for the foul. Yung pa yung dapat nilang ginagawa eh. Ang problema kasi, nakatagilid si Nabong tapos gumalaw. No? First of all, he was not flat facing the, that, the offensive clear. player. No? Morning, number 33, Seventy-four to sixty. Tama ba partner? Isang segundo na lang. Oh, exactly. Yeah. It's uh, remaining in the third period. The Ligon is trying to keep the team's hopes of a major comeback alive. We haven't really seen them string together mm -hmm. that many points. Yep. First, first the stop that they needed. Yes. Uh, and so happen, and then offensively consistency. Kasi yung steals sa turnover points, mm -hmm. lamang na lamang ang Davao Occidental ng first half. So, it continues here in the third period, yes. Bill. So this is like a catch and shoot situation. So they didn't bother to shoot. So 74 61 is our tally at the end of three quarters. Incidents come. Seventy-four, sixty-two. As we end the fourth quarter, kick out. Celada started to get his game going. Medyo pilipit yung tira. Mm -hmm. Manzo change of pace, double teamed in the corner. They enforce him to give it up. They're forcing the ball inside. At ito Celada na kabuelo na pabayaan mo na lang. Yep. So, so the lead is down ten, down mm -hmm. to ten. Yep. Considerable, yeah, the bill. And this is probably what they were. And look at the defensive stance. They're not pressuring the yes. ball carrier, trying to trap them on the corner. De Leon, he's also been quiet. Shot clock down to seven seconds. Manzo's got to find somebody open. And let's see who is. That's a foul. Well, they moved the ball well from the strong yes. side to the weak side. Hindi na adjust and Lohera just found that opening. Ang ganda ng ikot ng bola, no? Um, see, the, see the experience really of the, these, these players. Eh? They were not rushing. They know that they've got five, six seconds. Yes. Mahaba pa yun. Balion with the foul. Well, he's played a good game for, for the Tigers. Yes. For his debut game, Kurt Lujera. Well, this, I think this is really the luxury you have Custodio, Lujera, and Manso who could the backcourt for the Tigers. Ang laking bagay niya pag may defensive pressure. Mm -hmm. oh, but two missed free throws by Kurt yes. Lujera. Is the tide starting to turn in favor of the Alpha Omega Kings? Mahaba pa ang oras. Celada. With the defense in his face, he shoots an air ball. They get the oh! ball back. Oh! You know, Kosonyo was unable to handle that rebound. And so... Going with an opportunity for the Kings. Ito, ang tanong dyan kung matataranta yung Tigers. And yes, they did. 
Walo na lang po ang lamang ng Davao Occidental. Six straight points unanswered by uh, the Tigers. Here is that move by Manso. Looking for a foul. None was called. At medyo iika-ika ngayon si Manso pa palabas ng court. A little jolted by that move of his. He was anticipating a call. Hindi pumito. There was oh. no foul called. It was just a let go. Oh, that's big. That is so big, Bill. That is a huge three-pointer that brings them to within five. And, and a turnover could make it even less. Celada with another three. This one's off the mark. Traveling forced oh, no. by the double team. He was trapped against the baseline. But the ball pressure really put up defensively by uh, the Kings here in the fourth quarter. Yan ang hindi natin nakikita. Mm. Ngayon na lang nila employ effectively, especially if you take it to the sideline or the baseline. Itatrap ka nila. Look, oh, naiipit ka. And nowhere to go for you. <laughs> Finally! Oh! oh, wow! It is down to a two-point game. The Davao Occidental Tigers were leading by huge numbers. That's just down to a bucket. We have a timeout. As a new team here in the PSL coach, DMC of Alpha Omega King said that they're still in the adjustment period. At that stage, pa sila ng pagpapakilala sa isa't isa dahil nga may mga batang players na pinasok sa kupunan na ito tulad nila Batak, Salo, Cervantes at Sumangkong na pare-parehas na Bulacan homegrowns. Para nga team manager John Nair na nagpasok sa mga batang players na ito sa Alpha Omega King's project player nila ang 23-year-old na si Warlo Batak this season because they trust the huge upside of this young player. So far, Batak produced 10 points. Madadagdagan pa kaya ito ngayong last quarter. Randy. All right, now the Kings have dramatically taken the lead with a three-point shot. Is this their first lead of the game, partner? Yes, it's a 14 to nothing run to start the fourth period. And oh, it's still going! 78-74 to now. What has happened to Dava Occidental, partner? You know, they're just more aggressive defensively. They've, they've worked hard. And the point that you raised now, could have been a game changer really on that technical foul on Nabong to start the fourth quarter. It's kind of kind of fired them up when they shot their shots were falling. Very complacent eh, uh, the Davos and then the Tigers. But the, all of a sudden the three-point shots were falling in. You know, this guy, Andrian Celada, he's kept them. He's the constant guy. Yes. For the Kings here in the second half. No third quarter, medyo inaalat pa na mamasa na lang, no? Yep. But here. Big point forward delay. Now let's see who will step up in a leadership role now for Dava Occidental. Kapos, Tinapik, oh. good put back. Yep, the big men, Gamalinda and Ongtengo. Gamalinda kept the ball alive, Ongtengo for the cleanup. The Kings have outscored the Tigers 17 to 2. And if you're wondering where all that came from, it came from everywhere. <laughs> a different angles, particularly from the three point area. You know, in a little over two minutes, they were able to bring down the lead to two. And the Kings have taken a two point advantage. Ambilis, oh, ambilis oh. na ng yari yun. Nung bandang huli pa ng third quarter, parang lumaki uli yung lamang mm. eh. Oh, the fireman in Olayon. Tying Olayon has been sporadically dousing the spirits of the Kings. The Alpha Omega Kings, new team or not, they're putting up a fight. They're keeping even with a championship caliber squad. Oh, oh Gabriel. But Ungamely in that uh, play. Excellent foul, but now Dabo Occidental is crying for an unsportsmanlike like foul. It's a football and Taogan offside, mm -hmm. eh, right? But anything to prevent the, the Tigers break. from getting momentum. Ito sayang na pagkakataon nito, partner. 
to na yung foul. Uh, they were saying that you know, the shirt was held on uh, by the Kings. And should have been an uh, unfortunate Hindi lang life sundot, ano, oh. partner. Not, uh, kasi nakalampas sa kanya. Eh. Yes. So, there's no way for him to retrieve that basketball from behind as they were scooting down court. The Davao Occidental Tigers. Here it is again, Bill. Na, na bitawan yung bola. Mm -hmm. But, you know, nothing intentional or harmful from our, our perspective. Oh. So it's just a regular foul. <laughs> De Leon asking, "Wala free throw?" Hindi ka naman tumitira sa backcourt. 78 all, Bill Velasco with Randy Sakdalan bringing you some really intense second day action from the PSL. Wow. Trying to get a foul, doesn't matter. He got the bucket anyway. So he could be the answer, Bill, that you were yes. asking. Would Costello fit in the big shoes of June Manso here in the fourth? Ryan Costello doing a good uh, job of holding the Kings at bay. Ngayon, medyo nakakasolohan ang AO Kings. Yes. A foul was called against Costello. Of the Davao Occidental Tigers, there's the bump. Well, Costello made that shot in that uh, slow-mo play. Davao has now replied with six straight points. That keeps them on top, but just by two. Oh, look at Custodio. The oh, no. Oh, to the wrong man, Gabriel. He did everything right. He was even facing towards where he was going to pass, but Gabriel happened to be in the perfect spot. Oh, huge bone-crushing screen in the backcourt by De Leon. Oh. oh, everything but the shot. Everything but the basket. But there's no degree of difficulty in basketball. <laughs> we are tied at 80, and who would have thought, Randy? What a game we're watching here, Bill. And it's just become so intense. And it's not uh, bombing. Bombing the ball. Bombing the ball. That's going to hurt. Nabibitin yung bola yun. Nasa ilalim na yung kamay. You can dribble even up to the point that your hand is perpendicular to the floor. Oh, uh, what a steal! There's going to be a yes. easy bucket here. And the Kings back in the lead. Four minutes, 18 seconds remaining. What a game. You know, war has been declared really here in the fourth period. Very fierce competition. And now the Kings have found again, the confidence again. in their defense. That double teaming. Somebody's finally open. Yes! Wow. Polayon to Gamalinda. 83-82. We have a seesaw game. Walang kukurap. Both teams finding an overabundance of heroes. Another three-pointer from Celada. Luckily, they get the ball back. Corkscrew oh. shot off the rim and out. Well, look at Gabriel Canina Carter. Marin. You know, just, just hanging around. Gabriel Canina was able to telegraph the pass, get the ball, and now two points for him. He has played gargantuan minutes mm -hmm. in this game as well. Well, he and uh, Celada, they, they put up decent numbers, yes. and the guards putting on the, the fire from the backcourt. Forcing the shot despite the contact. The Kings trying to build on this lead. Their biggest lead of the game is what? Two, three, three points. points. Four points here in the, Four lead, points, yes. in the fourth. Under three minutes to go. Gabriel again in oh, the easy. right place. You know, e easy basket for Gabriel. Toligon really playing decoy there, and then Gabriel anticipating the pass back to him. What a swing wow. this game has had. And the Tigers, Gamalinda, five points here in the fourth quarter. You're talking about players with championship experience mm -hmm. at both the collegiate and professional level.
So he's really very composed. He's showing a lot of composure here for Bamba. Dali going for three. Oh, Gabriel almost had that uh, offensive recovery. Manso, <laughs> aching joints and all, is back on the court. 86 85, the AO Kings in the lead. And the Kings are asking to review that last situation because it could result in them getting the ball back. Uh, here is the shot of uh, Doligon. It's going to be a loose ball. And daming dinaan ng kamay, you know? And Gabriel was saying it was last touch by uh, Tigers. She Costello from another angle, Bill. Let's take a look at this. Ikaw yung nakasalamin, partner. Ano sa tingin mo? I think it's really close between the, the hands of Costello after that Silada tap, or rather Gabriel tap. Yun mo yung, yung, yung kamay dyan, yung bola. And there's... That's that Silada, or rather Gabriel. And then will it hit Costello? In, parang hindi. Yun yun eh. Kung, kung may ba yung trajectory papunta na sa posisyon, referees called it Tiger's ball. Yes. After the review. So the call sticks. Tigers with a chance to take the lead back. Lohera back on the court now for Dub Occidental Tigers Coco Life. 86 85, 2 minutes 18 seconds. Another heart stopper after our opening day game. Mm. Isa pa yun, ano, partner? Oh, Manila the... and Kainta. One point uh, victory there for Manila after trailing most of the way. This is what separates the men from the boys. Dub Occidental gets it oh. back. They lose it. This is where you need experience. Yes. Yeah, and they give it to Celada for the AO Kings. What an opening game for them. Nice little pump fake, but mm -hmm. the shot is short. Now, Mansos brought back into the game the general. They need somebody to really direct play for the offense of uh, the Tigers. They kick it out. With oh, hands in his shot. face. Gabriel there whistled for a push after the basket. Mm -hmm. A lot of emotion in this game, and mm -hmm. it is just the first <laughs> game of these two teams. Sayang, no? They Kasi each have 16 games to go. <laughs> and they won't be facing each other again. That's They'll true. see each other in the semifinals or in the finals. At saka na magbawian. Well, let's see the play inside between Manso and Gabriel. Oh! Was there a... Which may be a factor in the coming minute and 18 seconds. Now, who will the Kings go to? Look at the... There's a bump. Okay, that, that's, not it, uh, that's not a penalty foul given by... Uh, Manso, only the 14 foul. Wait a minute. There are, there are five team fouls now credited to the Kings. Mm -hmm. So they're in the penalty. That's for the Kings. The Tigers, four. Tigers just got their fourth Four. foul. It resets the clock to 14 because we are in the front court. Mm -hmm. The league on. Will he take this straight to the hole? There's a switch. Goes up. Whoa! De Leon... Not really wanting to risk another foul, so... Just letting it go, but the, the right idea for Doliguan taking it strong. Look 88 87, the Kings up by one. We have a timeout. We'll catch our breath. See you in a minute. 88 87. Sinesuerte talaga ang Kings ngayong uh, fourth mm -hmm. quarter, but they've also worked hard to get lucky. Yes. That big, big streak. We were talking about how they were 
able to rally, but all of a sudden they rattled off 17 to 2. And now the question is, who's got the the heart to take the big shots here? Oh, this shot. Lojero was anticipating a call after he was bumped. What was a let go situation? And now time is on the side of the Alpha Omega Kings. They're up by one. The league on. Alamong malakas sa loob. Oh, he was passing to no one in particular. Manso has been a hero in this game. Diving into the defense. Oh. It's off the iron. Final 18 seconds. Will they foul? They, they don't get... even need to shoot unless Dabo Occidental fouls. Oh, they're not fouling. Finally. There's a foul. But that is only their fifth team foul. foul. Or, or the, is it? Yeah, that's two free throws. Two free throws, right? Yes. Okay, penalty. penalty po. But that's the only way that the Davao Tigers could get the ball back. Yes. Could have been the big time shot there for Banzo. Now the question is, what kind of shot the Davao Occidental Tigers will need after this free throws? If he makes both, they need a three. Oh, he oh, no. the first. So, at most, it's going to be a two point game for the if AOP. He makes the second one. If he makes one. otherwise. Otherwise, Davao can just take it strong Stroke to the, the basket and get a foul. There's no pressure to take uh, a three-point shot for them. He oh, misses both. both! Now Davao has to hurry. Gamalinda decides to double oh, clutch. Short. Defense from behind. There's a foul at the buzzer. buzzer. And believe it or not, the AO Kings, the Alpha Ooh. Omega Kings, come back from huge double digit deficits to steal a victory over the Davo Occidental Tigers Coco Life in the fourth quarter. Wow. Woo. Call it a miracle game for the AO Kings. Just like old times, partner. 88-87 <laughs> yes. is our final score. 